Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we show you how to replace the rear brake caliper on this 2003 Nissan Altima. It's the same process on these Altimas from 2002 to 2006. And we show you on the passenger side, but it's the same process on the driver's side. And the items you'll need for this is 8, 12, 14, 19, and 21 millimeter sockets and ratchet, and a piece of pipe for leverage, a 14 millimeter wrench, brake fluid, jack and jack stands, a torque wrench, and a funnel. You want to start off by removing your wheel. If you don't have air powered tools, you want to loosen up those 21 millimeter lug nuts on the ground, raise the vehicle and remove them the rest of the way, and then you can pull your wheel off. Now is where you want to inspect your brakes. You can look in here and see how much life is left on your brake pads, and then you want to feel your rotor and make sure it's not too deeply gouged. Ours is actually in really bad shape. We're going to start off by removing the caliper. You want to remove these two 19 millimeter bolts. And we'll just fast forward as Don does this. And you can see he's using that piece of pipe for some extra leverage to help break those bolts free. Once the bolts are removed, using a flat blade screwdriver, just pry that off. and then you can set that aside. The flexible brake line is held in place by a 12 millimeter bolt. Just use a socket and ratchet or wrench to remove it. And reinstall uh, the brake line. Make sure you put a new copper crush washer between the line and the caliper as well as the end of the bolt and the line and then tighten that up and tighten that bolt to about 30 to 35 foot pounds. Now you can reinstall the caliper and bracket and we'll install the uh, brake shoes in later. Put the 19 millimeter bolts in place and you'll want to tighten those up to 85 to 90 foot-pounds. Now you want to remove this 14 millimeter bolt right here. Once the bolt's removed, pull your caliper back and then push your brake pad slides into place. Once the slides are in place, you can put your brake pads back in. and push your caliper back into place and place that 14 millimeter bolt. We'll fast forward here as Don tightens that up. And tighten these bolts up to 25 foot pounds. Eight. You'll want to bleed the brakes. Just start out by loosening your bleeder screw and wait until it starts dripping fluid. When it drips fluid, then tighten it back up and this is just a gravity feed initially. To further bleed the brakes, have a helper in the car, press the brake pedal, then loosen the bleeder and you'll see fluid will come out. And then tighten up the bleeder, have them let off the pedal and repeat that until there's no air in the lines. And it usually takes two or three repetitions. Reinstall the wheel and tire, 
and hubcap and then just tighten the lug nuts preliminarily. Now torque the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds in a crossing pattern. After bleeding the brakes, you're going to want to replace the brake fluid that was lost. So just fill your brake fluid up to the fill line. Make sure you replace your cap. After doing any repair on the brakes, before taking it out onto the road, it's important to do a couple things first. First, you want to just pump the brakes until the brake pedal firms up. And then you want to do a stop test from 5 miles per hour and then 10 miles per hour. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.